Ang sabi nila, ito daw ang pinakasulit na iPhone. iPhone XR. But what if I told you, ito yon, the iPhone 11. That's right, one year later, lumabas po to. After this one. May update sa processor, sa camera, sa itsura, things like that. But what you don't know is kung gano'ng kalaki yung kanyang improvement sa camera. Kasi sa battery pala, no? Plus one hour daw yung kanyang battery life. And it's only 4,000 pesos more than the iPhone XR. iPhone 11 actually is much better than the iPhone XR. Sure ka ba dyan? Alam natin. It's Vince and you're watching Unbox Series. Woohoo! Okay, so apart from the XR or yung mga previous phones, this is the only other iPhone na available today na kompleto pa yung box. Ganda pa lang yung box ito. iPhone. Actually, for most tech YouTubers, ito yung kanilang number one iPhone na lumabas. Napakalaki kasi ng changes. Ito na yung phone. Of course, na-unbox ko na siya kay Papa Jack. Second hand kasi. Whoops! Meron pang ganito. Designed by Apple in California. Of course, meron siya yung mga the SIM ejector pin, papers, my color pa. Hello. Kailan this year, no? Goodbye sa mga accessories. Dati, hello accessories. Yan. Meron pa, guys. Charger sa loob ng box. At earphones sa loob ng box. How much is this? 2,000 pesos. And of course, yung kanyang USB cable. Lightning board. Ang dami. Nakainlove yung ganun. Ngayon, wala na. Cable na lang at yung phone. Baka next year, wala ng box. Okay. Okay, so ito na siya. As you can see, the size, the shape is pretty much the iPhone XR right here. Pero yung kanyang camera ay ibang-iba na. Dito po sa iPhone 11 nagsimula yung ganitong klaseng camera module for the iPhone. Ta-da! Yung mga bagong iPhone 14 Pro Max, ayan. Yung mga binubulog niyan. Dito po nag-start yun. Kaya lang, if you look closely, malaki po yung difference ng camera ni 14 Pro Max at ni 11. Guys, wala pang camera bump masyado yung 11 dati. Flat na flat yung kanyang lenses. Pero itong 14 Pro Max, as you can see, grabe kakapal. Every year, papal ng papal yan. Thicker, bigger lenses. Pero design, ayun, inspired by the iPhone 11. But pretty much everything is iPhone XR. The shape, the size, glossy back, metal sides curved round edges and notched display. Okay, so wala pa siyang pinagbago sa display, no? Uh, since the iPhone 10, the 11 still has this kind of display. Now for me, walang problema to, no? Uh, if design na naman, parehas po silang pogi, parehas po silang premium design. Apple na Apple. Ang important, tulad ng sinabi ko sa iPhone XR, what's important is the Apple logo. Alam nyo nyan, kapag meron kayong ganyan, social ka. May pera ka, or marami kang inutangan. Or baka na nakaw mo to sa ibang tao. Kapal na mukha mo! Doesn't matter. What matters is instant respect. And healthy rin siya. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I'm actually feeling better. No, kapag, nung nabilali ko to, dati kasi depressed ako lagi. Uh, malungkot, uh, heartbreak everywhere. Ngayon, ang saya-saya ko na. Major boost sa health ko talaga yung ganito. Ganito ang smartphone. Akala nyo okay lang? No. Try it for yourself. Go buy an iPhone today and see the results in your happiness. Sipin nyo naman no, sa mirror. May mirror shot kayo. Pati ito makikita. Ay, naka-iPhone. And kapag meron kayong meeting, ilalatag mo lang sa inyong table. Ak! Instant. Promoted ka na. Hindi, wow. What's the logic? Walang logic. It simply is because it's an iPhone. Ang sabi sa history books, this is actually the next best thing since sliced bread. The iPhone. And hindi ako pinabayaran ni Apple para sabihin niyan. Pero yun, same shape, same size, iPhone XR, body-wise, ayan, parehas na parehas. Kaya lang napansin ko is, mas manipis sa kanyang bezels, sa harapan, pati yung baba, mas manipis din, as you can see. And oh, by the way, hindi po siya AMOLED display, same as the iPhone XR. This is a liquid retina display, IPS LCD. Max brightness, up to 625 nits. Very bright po siya sa indoors. Can't see the same sa outdoors. Paano yun, Beans? Parang malaman siya ng difference para sa iPhone XR. Di mag-XR na lang ako. Actually, with the extra 4K, you get something much, much better than just, you know, yung itsura. You actually get a much, much better camera. Ito na po ang kanila comparison with the XR. And here it is. The first thing I noticed is that it has way better dynamic range. Ano sabihin nun? Napansin namin, yung mga dark parts dun sa picture ay mas klaro na. More detail, less darkness, less blackness, and also yung details I must pronounce. Mas marami at mas sharp pa dito sa iPhone 11. Actually, malayong difference. And dapat sila namin na mas cool na 
a n c o l o r temperature i t o n g si iPhone 11 medyo warm pa si iPhone XR oh by the way nakalapos sabihin nyo kanyang camera specs ito na pala 12 megapixels main camera 12 megapixels ultra wide at saka kanyang selfie camera ay 12 megapixels din that's right meron ng ultra wide angle camera si iPhone 11 and with this ayan po wider shot which was pretty much impossible with the older iPhone models ito ba ay important sa akin ultra wide kasi nga most of the time masikip po yung lugar with this yung iPhone na yung nag-adjust para sa atin lahat marami ka lang pwedeng isiksik sa picture isa pang wala sa iPhone XR na meron sa iPhone 11 is yung kanyang night mode guys ito na ito po yung big big difference ayun nakita nyo naman kung gano'ng kaklaro ka-detailed pa rin ang aking itsura dito sa picture na to doon sa XR, ang dilim. Parang painting na yung mukha ko. Hindi na makakatuhanan. Parang ayaw ko ipakita sa social media. This one, si 11. Parang gusto ko i-post. Same as dito. Ayan. Uh, yung iPhone. Kitang-kita. Wala masyadong noise. Iba talaga yung night mode na nagsimula sa iPhone 11. So, this is something na, na hindi ko makita sa XR. And pretty much a big feature for me. Kapag wala to guys, parang mahirap gamitin. Kaya lang, of course, syempre, when you take a picture sa night mode, kaya mong still ang inyong katawan para hindi siya mag-blurry. Napansin ko rin na mas maganda yung contrast, mas malakas yung dating ng colors dito sa iPhone 11. I would have to say parang double yung kanyang image quality compared dito sa iPhone XR. Isa pa napansin ko, 12 megapixels na ang kanyang selfie camera. And with that, mas malaki na yung field of view. So hindi siya masyado malapit sa mukha. Hindi ka tulad sa XR, ang lapit sa mukha ko ng camera. Sa XR, medyo mataba ako tingnan malaking mukha. 11, lumit ako dito dahil nga dun sa field of view. Oh, mas klaro ang camera talaga. Selfie camera din nitong si iPhone 11. Also up to 4K 60 frames per second video ang both selfie and rear camera ni 11. Here is the comparison. So ito yung comparison ng 4K 60 frames per second. And as you can see, the iPhone 11 is pretty much almost the same as the iPhone XR. Pero mas maganda naman ang dynamic range. As you can see, the sky is mas controlled yung light dito sa iPhone 11. And, kamusta naman yung tura ko? So, subjected to a... Depende na lang kung ano mas okay sa inyo. Stabilization test. Walking around. So, meron pa pala isang malaking difference between the two. Ayan o. No? Actually, malaking difference. Sobra. Uh, in terms of the selfie camera, 7 megapixels naman si XR at 12 megapixels naman si iPhone 11. And as you can see, sobrang lapit ng mukha ko sa si XR. It's too close. This 11, ayan, mas pang vlog siya. Feeling ko dito nag-start yung parang okay na sa vlogging si iPhone. Sa 11 nag-start. Kasi nga, medyo may space ka to work with. Dito sa... <laughs> 10R, masyadong close. Laka na mukha kong pangit. Dito sa 11, mas marami kang pwedeng ipakita sa background. Ayan o. Oh. Yeah. At saka, pa parang pula ko dito sa XR. Ang natural na itsura ko sa 11. Yan. And that's why, for me, it's actually worth it no, to shell out some more money para sa 11. Compare dito, ultra-wide angle lens pa nga lang. Pero Vince, hindi ako masyadong mahilig mag-picture. Puro pusa lang naman ang pinipicturean ko eh. So, okay lang yun. Ang mahilig ako is mag-games. Mobile Legends. Well, I'm happy to say na it's actually more than 20% yung kanyang tinaas. Here is the Antutu Benchmark score. Almost 570,000 pesos. What? Ay, pesos tuloy. Points! Wait, ba't parang Gcash yung Antutu? Doon binis ang design. And with this, napansin namin na almost the same naman sa Mobile Legends. Of course, ultra, wala siyang high refresh rate sa, sa display. Just like the XR. So, wala super, wala ultra refresh rate. And the gameplay, the, the graphics, yung... But of course, it also shares the very touch-sensitive pro-level display, no? Ito, kaya ito yung ginagamit ng mga pro players ng ML kasi nga sobrang, sobrang sarap mag-fast hands dito. Kasi nga, yung register ng touch, sobrang pulido. Graphics, ang ganda. Smooth. Diba talaga yung graphics sa iPhone? Promise. Very optimized siya. Sa so Call of Duty naman, ito. Pretty much the same din. Ayun. Very high and max. Ayun. Siguro mas okay yung kanyang frame rates dito compared sa XR but we couldn't feel it that much. And of course, okay rin sa pro players kasi nga yung kanyang touch sensitivity is right there. It's off the charts. 
Yun nga lang, nandun ako sa isang maliit na display. 6.1 inch is pretty much small for me. <laughs> In comparison no, sa aking 14 Pro Max, boom. Sa Genshin Impact naman, ayun, doon naman naramdaman na mas mabilis talaga siya sa XR. It's much more smooth. Kaya lang, napansin na namin na uh, it might be because second hand siya nag-dim yung display after some time umiinit siya. It has a heating issue. So, in ultra settings namin to lahat. And even though kinakaya niya, yun nga lang, after 5 minutes, mainit na masyado, it's uncomfortable. Ito yung something na kailangan maayos ni iPhone or Apple in the future if want mo maglaro ng Genshin Impact nung walang problema in the near future. Overall, ang smooth-smooth niya tingnan, napakaganda. May konting lag na lang kapag ka medyo marami na nangyari sa display. Now, apart from that, wala actually yung ibang difference no, between the two. Siguro kung nag-video editing ka dito sa, sa XR, sa 11, doon mo siya ramdam. But pretty much everything na light lang like Facebook, YouTube, walang masyadong difference. Actually, sa harapan, kamukhang kamukha talaga silang dalawa. The only reason kung mag-upload ka dito is kung kailangan mo talaga yung napakagandang upgrade sa kanyang camera. And of course, sa kanyang processor kung sumang mabilis talaga. But everything else is pretty much the same. And 21,000 to, 1 to 8 gigabytes sa Green Hills, you can actually get an iPhone XR for as low as 13, 14,000 pesos, 64 gigabytes sa Green Hills. Yun yun, more accessible nga to. Yun nga lang, kung meron kang pera, kung meron kang 21K, I highly suggest, dito na lang, iPhone 11. Pero kung gusto man talaga ng iPhone na maganda, maayos talaga, at pasok sa pretty much any budget. Kaya pala, kaya pala sobrang benta na kasi nga, yun lang eh. 13 lang, 14 lang, meron ka na. It is the price that makes the difference. The iPhone 11 is 21K to 29,000 pesos sa Green Hills. Meron din siyang 256 gigs. Ayun. So, that is from second hand to brand new, guys. Ayun. Kung gusto mo ng brand new, medyo aabot siya ng mga 28, 29,000 Pero kung second hand, 21,000. Or baka pa naman gawin 20,500 or 20K depending sa negotiation nyo. And don't worry, sa Green Hills ngayon, bawal na ang mga nakaw. Thank you Apple sa updates. At ayan po mga kaibigan, si iPhone 11 and of course si XR. Two great iPhones in 2023. Actually, nagkaroon lang ng recent price drop noong January. Ibang iba na po yung prices ng mga iPhone ngayon. If you wanna see the full prices of the brand new iPhones or yung mga second hand na iPhone dati, check yun na lang dito sa video namin, Green Hills. And for more iPhone videos, reviews just like this one, mag-subscribe ka na, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content about the bins. And you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo!